And here he is, David Attenborough and his assistant. Welcome. This is the study of life and biology. Hi, I'm David Attenborough, and this is my assistant, Logan Richard. We're here to talk about the fascinating evolution of plant life. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. This is a bryophyte, also known as a moss. Mosses depend on water for reproduction. They're also non-vascular plants, so they're low to the ground, so they can collect the moist water. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. This is a fern, also known as a seedless vascular plant. In the winter, it grows, and in the spring, summer, and fall, it does the same thing. Both mosses and fern use spores as a dispersal unit. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. If you look really, 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 really closely, closer possibly than your eye could perceive, you will see spores on the back of the fern leaf. In the heat of the summer, spores open up dispersing their pollen to pollinate other plants. Fascinating. And here we have a curled up fern leaf in which the meaning of its name came from the fact that this fern leaf happens to be curled up. Your knowledge of the world inspires me to be a biologist. Oh. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Gymnosperm. Oh. As you can see, they're very, totally, and extremely gigantic. Whoa. A bit scary, too. Ready? Set? Tally ho, chap. In the next stage of evolution, seeds evolved. Got it. Overland dispersal increased, and now you see beautiful trees like this redwood all over the country. Ooh. Oh, Logan. A little help here, Logan. Oh, chop. Oh, bother. <laughs> oh, this is a plastio sperm. It's used to accommodate all elements and seasons. Ooh. Fascinating. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. I see you there. You've caught me in the middle of tea time. But just as it happens, this is the last segment of our biology video. We are going to look at the tree in which I'm sitting in now. The last evolutionary stage of plants. The angiosperm. The, the angiosperm has developed a flower. The flower develops fruits, which attracts other organisms to come eat the fruits. Once the fruits have entered the digestive system, they are dissolved, and the seeds are released in the feces. Those seeds then go on to spread other angiosperms like this one. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. Truly fascinating. For you, man. This concludes our video of the study of life and biology. I'm David Abro, and this is Logan, Richard, and Jenny Gona. Goodbye. See you next time. Let's go. Uh, wait for me. Oh, so many things come to mind. Oh, it's, it's heavy, huh?
I'd like to thank the Academy, of course, and my parents for teaching me the importance of and values of life, mostly how important life is. And we ought to like to like to thank Angela Chen for doing absolutely nothing. Thanks, Thanks Angela. Angela.